Hi everybody, it's Crystal Ann Compton. How are you doing today? I hope you are having a beautiful day wherever you are in the planet today. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a three card oracle card reading and I am excited to do so. Now it's very important when we do these three card oracle card readings that you come from a place of good intention and alignment because what's happening here is spirit is giving you a message that you need to hear now more than ever. But there are actually three messages and it's up to you to determine which message belongs to you. And the way that you do this is you allow spirit to let you know which one resonates with you. And this can happen in a variety of ways, and I've talked about this in previous videos, but just pay attention to what's coming in as I'm holding up the cards. Pay attention to the vibration of your body, your energy. See if there is an uptick of energy when you view a specific card. Pay attention to what's flashing in your mind's eye or what you're hearing in your innermost thoughts because you might hear the word one, two, or three, or you might see the numbers one, two, or three. Also pay attention to your knowing. Some of us just know, oh, card number two, that's for me. That's clear cognizance and it's an actual psychic gift. And of course, pay attention to your feelings because your feelings are so important. Your body, the body itself never lies to you. And so if you pay attention to what the body is telling you through its energy and through its feelings, you might get a hint at which card is for you. The messages are already present. It's up to you to align to the card that is meant for you at this time. Today we are going to be using this deck. Let me get the box for it. Lord Jesus. This is called Numerology Guidance Cards. This is an oracle card deck by Michelle Buchanan. I love it for its simplicity. I happen to love numerology generally. I think it's fun. I also think it's incredibly insightful if we work with the numbers in the right way. And this deck just gives you a message straightforwardly so that you can take it and use it. And hopefully it will enlighten you as to what's going on in your life right now. We have three cards. I'm going to hold up each card for a period of time as you check in with yourself to see which one is for you. Again, paying attention to all of the ways that spirit will let you know that this is your card. Then what I'm going to ask you to do is drop down in the comments as soon as you know which card is yours. And also, if you'd be so kind, tell me how you know. How did it come in? Was it a thought? Was it a, a, an image? Was it a knowing? And then after that, I'm going to reveal the cards and you're going to actually see the message that you selected for yourself and then drop down again if you would and let me know, hey, does that make sense? And if it does, how so? Because I love to hear what you guys have to say. I read through all of those comments. I just love doing these videos with you. Okay, three card oracle card reading. Are you ready for the first card? I'm going to move to one side because I'm going to try and see if I can get these graphics online so that you can see the actual card. Okay, so the first card, I'm holding it up now, card number one, card number one, card number one, and now Card number two. Card number two. Card number two. Last but never ever least is card number three. Card number three. Card number three. Okay, take a moment to drop down into the comments and let us all know which card aligned with you, which card resonated with you. I like to do this before the actual reveal because it requires that you trust yourself. A lot of times we talk ourselves out of the messages that we receive 
And sometimes we see the answers and then we change our answers so that we can align with a different message. But we don't want to do that. We really want to trust what Spirit is trying to tell us right now. And when we do the reveal, really listen to the meanings. It might not make perfect sense to you now, but it may a week from now. It may a month from now. Just listen and be willing to receive what Spirit is trying to give you. So drop down in the comments. Let me know. And now let's move on to the reveal. All right. Card number one is domestic harmony. Domestic harmony. Move this here so you can hear me well. All right. This card indicates a time of healing your relationships and your home. This may relate to a troubled relationship with a child, family member, an ex, or a current partner, a house guest, a roommate, somebody you're in relationship with. It could even relate to problems you've had with your actual house itself. Either way, this card has been sent to advise you that your difficulties are being resolved and domestic happiness is within your reach. This card can indicate a time to make a commitment to your present relationship by declaring your love and your desire to take things to the next level. It can also reveal a need to commit to your present residence by extending your lease or deciding not to sell or making the necessary improvements to turn it into your perfect home. Regardless, this card is encouraging you to make a commitment rather than walk away. So whatever your question was, this card is encouraging you to make a commitment rather than walk away. In order to improve your current situation, you are being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life, cycles that are leading you towards domestic harmony and peace. Remember, there is no such thing as the perfect relationship or family or home. Domestic harmony can only be achieved with effort compassion and compromise. By improving your relationship and your home, you will improve the quality of your life. The affirmation that goes with this card is, I have happy, harmonious relationships within my happy, harmonious home. That was card number one, domestic harmony. Beautiful. All right, on to card number two. For those of you who resonated with card number two, Let's reveal it. It is number three, creativity. Creativity. This card indicates a need to reconnect with your creative side to improve your quality of life and align yourself with source. By drawing this card, you are being encouraged to step out of your practical, logical mind and the seriousness of life in order to partake in light-hearted endeavors that are stimulating to you and also fun. Playful, creative expression is important because it raises your vibration, which brings you closer to your dreams. This is a time to immerse yourself in any creative endeavor that lifts your spirits and makes you feel good. It might take the form of playing a musical instrument, painting, writing, cooking, jewelry making, decorating, sewing, photography, landscaping, dancing, or designing. It doesn't really matter what it is as long as it brings you joy. Through playful, creative expression, you can heal disharmony in your body and disharmony in all areas of your life. That's important. This is what this card is actually saying to you. Through playful, creative expression, whatever that means for you, you can heal disharmony in your body and disharmony in all areas of your life. In order to improve your current situation, you are being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life, cycles that are encouraging you to express yourself creatively. It's now time to use your imagination and see the world through the eyes of a child. For in rediscovering the creativity of your youth, you will rediscover the magic in your life. I love that. The affirmation with this card is, through playful, creative expression, I make my dreams come true. I love it. Card number two is creativity. Last but not least, for everybody who selected card number three, you picked the card 77, and this card represents spirituality. Spirituality. 
card number 77, spirituality. This card indicates a need to enhance your connection to the divine, to improve your relationship with yourself, as well as your quality of life. You're not a human being having a spiritual experience. You're a spiritual being having a human experience. And your relationship with source is your path to inner peace. When you find your way to God, you find your way back home. By selecting this card, you are being encouraged to celebrate and to strengthen your relationship with divine in whichever way you choose, whatever works for you. You may opt for prayer, meditation, chanting, yoga, or periods of silence and contemplation. Perhaps quiet time in nature, going to a retreat, or attending a place of worship is something that you'd prefer. It doesn't really matter which option you choose, for there is no right or wrong here. Only you can know your ultimate path to God. In order to improve your current situation, you're being asked to adjust to and to harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life, cycles that are encouraging you to strengthen your relationship with the divine. You are also being urged to communicate with your lost loved ones, spirit, spirit guides, and angels, and ask for assistance when required. No request goes unanswered, and no request is too big or too small. I'm going to repeat that. This is important. You're also being urged to communicate with your lost loved ones, spirit guides, and your angels, and to ask for assistance when required. No request goes unanswered, and no request is too big or too small. The affirmation in alignment with this card is, my relationship with the divine is my path to inner peace. Beautiful. There you have it. That was card number three spirituality. But card number one, again, was domestic harmony, bringing peace and contentment into your relationships and also your experience, your home. Card number two, creativity is so important to get what you want, to heal yourself and also to heal experiences. It is important to go within yourself, be creative, the creative child within you, tap into that, bring that forward so that you can affect this healing. Last but not least, spirituality, your connection to the divine is important right now. So if you're looking to heal something or if you're looking to fix something or know something, your answer lies within your connection to God or creator or to I am energy. And there you have it. Three, card, oracle, card, reading. I hope that these answers have been helpful, given you insight, and most of all, given you a little bit of vibration of joy to know that you are loved and that spirit is always talking to you. Spirit always has messages for you. Because creator or I am or God energy sees a beautiful and successful future for you. And spirit, our emissaries, our friends in spirit, they are here to make sure that we have what we need to succeed. And this often shows up as messages from time to time, but we have to be looking for them, don't we? We have to be observing our environment. We have to be listening. And these card readings, these oracle card videos really help us to connect to how it is that they like to talk to us. So thank you for joining me today. Thank you for liking and subscribing to this video. And don't forget to comment down below and let me know how this resonates with you. And on that note, I'll see you in the next video. And I have got nothing but love for you. Bye guys. <laughs>